uh, you've now got a copy of an email from the National Symbols Office to a media outlet um, suggesting that um, they stop uh, using a version of the Commonwealth coat of arms, which as you can see is heavily modified. And in fact, it even has on that coat of arms, not the real logo. The head of the emu and the kangaroo are surveillance cameras and the word Australian is spelt um, uh, A-L-I-E-N. That's uh, pretty clearly satire, isn't it? Well, it all depends, Senator. If you look at it carefully, um, I'd agree with you, but of course, when it comes to um, the kind of material with which this bill is concerned, um, what one is um, can, uh, dealing with are circumstances in which um, it is unlikely that recipients of the material will look at it closely. So, Thank you, uh, Attorney. As you'll see in this email from the National Symbols Officer in the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet, they've asked the relevant media authority uh, to cease using this logo uh, to avoid um, that media company being mistaken uh, for the Australian government. Um, the issue well, here... I mean, if I, if, I, if I saw this in my letterbox and I didn't look carefully at it, um, I'd probably think that's the coat of arms, but if I look carefully at it, I'd realise it wasn't. So Clearly satire, as, as you I, said well, earlier. It's, it's only clearly satire if you study it. Yes. And my that's well, uh, not I'm not asking relevant, you to. But I looked at it and thought it was the accurate thing until uh, uh, Senator... <laughs> so it's tested by what a court it. would decide um, <laughs> is in all the circumstances or like whether a, 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 a reasonable person would be capable of being right. misled by it. How do you tell the difference between genuine satire and non-genuine well, satire? That's a matter for the courts. But, but you're the one ta you're the one bring forward the legislation or two. Yeah, well we, we have defined I mean you must have thought about this as you draft and it. we have in the in the legislation um, put in the appropriate reasonable tests of reasonableness the application of those tests is always a matter for the courts well um, again what test does one apply to tell the difference between genuine satire and non-genuine satire well there's a, a, a prior question and the question is whether a person in all the circumstances is reasonably capable of being misled and that is a question for the courts. Uh, isn't there a risk here that something like this, which, as you've accepted, if it's examined closely, it could not be found to be anything other than satirical in its intent? I agree intent. with you, Senator. If it's examined closely, though looking at it from the distance that I am from you as you hold it up there, um, it just looks like the coat of arms. So that's why I say... It might say more about your eyesight than anything else. Well, it just looks like the coat of arms, but if you look at it closely, uh, obviously it's, um, it does, it's not the coat of arms and it does, it does have a satirical flavour. So that's why I keep saying it all depends on the, applying the, the test of reasonableness in the circumstances, and that's not a matter for parliamentary committees, it's a matter for courts. Tony, I'll go again. If, if you don't mind, as, as to uh, why you have the words genuine in the offence and what is the difference between everyday run-of-the-mill satire and genuine satire and well, or non-genuine satire? Well, I think that's a very good question, Senator, which perhaps is best left to a legislative draftsman or to the courts. But um, I think the word, the adjective, uh, has been included by the draftsman to emphasise the fact that it doesn't apply to satire. Uh, yes, but it has the word genuine in front of it. Yeah, well, that's the adjective to which I'm referring. Well, I'm no clearer about any difference between <laughs> genuine satire and non-genuine satire, but lest uh, these proceedings be considered well, by Senator, someone observing Senator, to be descending into the satirical. Well, Senator, um, Mc, Senator McKim, neither you nor I are legislative draftsmen and uh, but we are legislators, both in, of us. Indeed. And so the choice of the adjective genuine to qualify the noun uh, satire is a, a choice by the legislative draftsman, which I assume was made for the purposes of emphasis. But this bill has not uh, been progressed through the Senate yet. Uh, and I'll make a mental note to myself to clarify that issue in my second reading speech. All right. Thank you, Attorney. I